hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today is actually christmas eve so i have just finished work and i am going to be making um like dumpling it's like microwave dumpling um it is actually my papa's recipe so i'm going to be making that i think in england they call it clouty dumpling but i just know it's a microwave dumpling so if i can find the real name i'll probably i'll probably like just link it in like the um description or on the screen so yeah we're just gonna get started um i am obviously going to be doing it over a pan so i am really sorry if you can hear the gas hob but yeah i'm just going to show you how i am going to be doing it i absolutely love this at christmas it's kind of like a bit of a christmas tradition of ours we always have it on christmas day morning um my mum likes hers with her breakfast i quite like it after my breakfast or like well, we might wind up having a bit tonight so yeah if you do wind up enjoying this video please don't forget to smash it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below it helps me out a lot and we'll just get into it so to start with i normally have my pan on just like a medium heat and what i'll do is i'll say out the recipe as i'm doing it but i'll also um leave a description of it in the description box um, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is popping in one cup of just water from the tap. It's just one cup. And then we've got um, half a pound of sultanas going in. Half a pound of mixed fruits. We've got half a pound of margarine going in as well. Gonna give this a little mix around before we add anything else into it. Then we need one tablespoon of cinnamon. got one tablespoon of mixed spice then we need one cup of just normal like caster sugar kind of thing pop that in then just give this another mix around just so that So as you can see it's starting to change now it doesn't look overly appetizing at the moment but it does start to look better then the next thing that i'm taking is one tablespoon of black treacle Right, so now we're just mixing this until um, we're just mixing this to all the marge starts to melt in, and then we're going to bring it to the boil, and then I'll tell you what we're doing next. So as you can see now all the margarine is starting to melt and you're starting to get like this kind of like brownie colour from um, all the spices and the treacle and things so we're just going to wait till this completely melts then bring it to the boil and then we'll take it off. So now that you can see the mixture is <clears throat> sorry at the boil um, I'm just going to be taking it off the heat and just let it cool slightly uh, before we add in the other ingredients so I'll probably just let it stand for about five minutes or so and then we'll add the other mixture so this is just what the mixture is looking like now so I'm going to be adding in the other ingredients so first things first we've got two beaten eggs so I'm just going to be adding this in So mix that in, 
Then we've got half a pound of flour. And then we've got one heaped teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. And then we're just going to mix in all of this in. And there is no heat on this pan. Um, it's just on the hob just because obviously the pan is still slightly warm. I love the smell of this when you're doing it in the last final stages. And you can see it's starting to peek back through now. I love this. This is a smell that reminds me of Christmas. Like, oh. So there we go, so that is all mixed in, so now you can see it's all like thick and gloopy. So I'm going to be transferring this into another bowl and then I will show you what we're doing. So, so with this, we've just got a glass uh, microwavable bowl and I just lined it twice with some cling film just to protect it. So what we're gonna do is put the, that mixture into here and then pop it in the microwave to cook it further. So you've got your big pan I'm just pouring it in. Jesus, I forget how heavy this is. You might need a helping hand with this. Um, I am generally okay, but there is sometimes it is just a little bit too heavy even for me. And we're just getting the last bits out. You don't want to miss any, because this is like amazing. just kind of jiggle it about a little bit so that so you've just got it you can see it like through Oop. you can see it like that it's all in there so and you want to make sure the cling film is over the edges as well so that's what I have done right so now we are going to be popping this in the microwave Um, we're going to do it uncovered so you don't cover it at all Um, for nine minutes on full power if you've got any 850 watt microwave so i'm just going to be doing this now so we're just going to lift this just going to pop in that in there like so so and then we're going to be doing it for nine minutes there we go so we're just going to leave that to go now I absolutely love this recipe and it just kind of gets me in the Christmas mood, especially because I've been working a lot this week. I have been working full on since Wednesday, which I am kind of a bit knackered now. Um, so doing this and then tonight we're going to have some, like we're going to try this like mulled gin thing. So um, we're going to give that a go and I don't know, it's going to get me into the Christmas spirit. So I'm happy about that. I can't wait for Christmas day tomorrow. I, am, I love Christmas. So yeah we'll leave that in for nine minutes and then i'll come back and we'll show you what the next step is like i said this is really easy it's not complicated to do it doesn't take long to do either it's really fast all you've got to do is show it in the pan boil it then take it out then add the other bits and put it in the microwave it's not like you've got to be standing over a stove for god knows how long and it tastes amazing as well so this is the dumpling finished so with this, we're going to be flipping it onto the thing and then popping it in for another minute. So this is where it gets complicated. So you want a microwavable plate, obviously. Make sure it's kind of where you want it to be. And then this is where it's chuffing hard because it does look like to move. So 
this is what it is looking like now. Um, so this needs to go in for another minute, just so that it cooks all the way. So yeah, it's looking really good. Ah. Right, I'm gonna pop it in for just another minute and then we will leave it to cool down. And now it is just in the microwave for the extra minute. Obviously, depending on what type of microwave that you have, if you've got like anything lower than an 850, then you do need to adapt the timings. The timings that I'm saying are for an 850 microwave. So if you've got 650 or if you've got 750, then you could put it in for like the nine minutes and then kind of assess it from that situation and see what happens then. But either way, as long as like it's all cooked through on the surface, then that is absolutely fine. It'll be fine. So this is the dumpling cooked for the last time. Just spin you around. So this is what the dumpling is looking like. Just all nice and cooked. You can either have it hot, but obviously let it just cool down for a little bit at least. Um, or you can have it cold, which is a lot of the times what we do. We might, Normally we let this cool down completely and then um, we would probably like reheat it if we want it hot. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video of just watching me make um, the microwave dumpling. Um, this is obviously my last video before Christmas because today is Christmas Eve. I hope you all get everything that you want or anything that you didn't expect. And I hope you all have a great Christmas and I'll see you after. Bye guys.